James Scott out here today with him outdoors with my beautiful bride on the Kisaloft River. And I may be saying that wrong. Kisalof. Kisaloft. It's an odd name, but that's where we're at. We're paralleling to the Kenai. I do know that. We're going to be out here today using a technique called flossing. Flossing, as you can see, can you see that okay? I got a hook. And I got a red bead. I got probably about a seven foot leader on here. And uh, basically what we're going to do, we're going to cast it to about 10 o'clock, let it float down to about two o'clock and snag. And what's, what we're doing is chasing these sockeye salmon here today out here on the river. So I feel like we're going to get you some great footage as we continue through our Alaskan adventure. And uh, you know, we're going to have us a great time. So stay tuned and watch us catch some of these absolutely beautiful sockeye salmon. Well, Rebecca's got the first one on. Fish on! Fish on! Just straight back. There's a fish out there. Oh, look at him jump. Oh, <laughs> see him right there. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish, too. <laughs> that was awesome. Praise the Lord, that's what we say, right? That's right. Okay, Becca's got another one on. This is all her. We don't have anybody down here. No, no. Okay, you got it. Gets back up. Maybe you got to get to the shore. <laughs> oh Look, yeah! Guys, this is a bigger one. Look at Look at the size of this fish. Okay. He's got. Can you wrench him off? Got a lot of blood on there. Or turn him. To, there you go. Turn him that way. That's a nice sockeye salmon right there. Good job, Rebecca. Look at that. Two for two. All right. Praise the Lord is what we yes. say. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna find out there. So, Christina's first one of the day. Yep. And she's got land. She's had a few on. First one in. <laughs> Good job, girl. Woo. Okay, Becca's got one on here. There you go. Oh. <laughs> there he is. There it is. Very nice. Girl power. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look at him, look at baby. <laughs> nice. Beautiful fish. What do we say? Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Keep coming back. Can you reel in some? Okay, yeah, yeah. Just don't let him do that. Stay right there, right there. It's already there. on. Oh. So, Rebecca's, <laughs> I just went and landed it for her, but Rebecca got her another one. That did not take you very long. Nice catch, Rebecca. 
What do we say? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, I know fishing is is fishing and catching is catching, but something about when you do catch a fish, it is amazing. The adrenaline, the rush. There he is, boys. I'll clean him up for and you. And girls. Look at that. Woohoo! Team effort. There you go. What do we say? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm just gonna be her catch catch the fish out of the water for you, okay? Okay. She is a pro at doing this, so what do we say? Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Oh. <laughs> okay, well we'll try to land him right here in this gravel. Another one. Good old sockeye salmon. That's right. Praise the Lord. That's a good woman. Take care of your fish for you, ain't it? Rinse him off. When she got all bloody. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, these fish are sure fun to catch. Running upstream to spawn, you know. You know, a lot of these people, you know, they 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 use Look this. Look at the stripes to, on this one. It's got yeah. blue stripes all oh, over yeah. it. See them? It's what they live on all year all year round. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Rebecca. So this is called flossing. It's just got a little weight on it. You toss it out, you bring it halfway, you swipe it fast. Toss it back out, bring it halfway, swipe it real fast. It's just repetition and you're just praying that you snag up a fish. Fish on! Fish on! I don't think he's a very big one. He's staying down. I think I can land it by myself. Just follow it. There you are. What was that, about our third one? Stand it. Fourth one? Not too bad. What do we say? Praise the Lord. <laughs> you got a dance for us? Let's see. See if I can get him closer. He's a big one. I can feel him. Oh, yeah. Okay, coming in to help you. We have no bait on, but I want you to see, this is how we're hooking them fish just about every time, right in the corner of the mouth. What they're doing is they're chasing that little red bead. There he is, you guys. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Isn't he fish. pretty? He's pretty. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at this big one right here. Okay, coming in to help my wife. Catching all the fish. That's Rebecca getting it done again. Ready? 
Yeah. Look at that. Right up in there. Look at that beautiful fish. Another one. It's not like two to one, is it? Y'all, we so. gotta change this. Yeah. Something's going on. Ah! Well, guess who's got another fish on? <laughs> Look at that. Another Rebecca fish. Look at that, y'all. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Fish. What about the joy and excitement when somebody comes to know the Lord because you did what Christ has asked you to do, which is to share the gospel with them. And then they say yes to Jesus, and then that excitement is all over again. True to that. Boy, that's a there pretty he fish. Is, isn't he pretty? What do we say? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's got her. James got another one. Hey, y'all, as you watch us catching these sockeye salmon, standing in those waters and seeing how pretty they were, the colors, just the, the beauty that was around us, I thought of a couple of different verses. One came out of Amos chapter 5, verse 24. It says... But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. As I was thinking about that, you know, justice always prevails. These streams will always flow until God says that they will not flow again. So righteousness, as we understand it, only comes in our life when we give our life to Jesus Christ, because we don't have anything righteous in our, ourselves, but we do have righteousness through Jesus, and we're so thankful for that. And then when you turn over to the very first Psalm, verse three, it says, he is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its seasons and its leaf does not wither, and all that he does, he prospers. You know, below this water, there's nutrients. And they, you look at these trees that are around here. I mean, there's always water for those trees to get to. And I liken that like that. If you and I are always hanging out with desert kind of people, people who either aren't doing the right thing or who aren't being... Um, spiritually fed, what's going to happen? They're going to dry up eventually. Versus if you and I are planted by the streams, if our roots run deep and they get down into that nutrients where that water is, we will continue to grow. We will prosper. We will grow in our relationship with Jesus. I believe it grows further than that because I believe we will grow in our relationships with our spouses, with our children, with our loved ones. So I just want to ask you here this morning or whenever you watch this video, are you yourself, are you planted near a stream? Are you getting all that you can get out of this life? Meaning, are your roots in the Bible? So when adversity comes, you can run to the Bible and you can get your spiritual wisdom and you can get what you need to get through whatever situation may be coming your way. I hope you all enjoy watching these sockeye salmon get caught and just, just the beauty and the honest of being in a place called Alaska, more specifically, the Kisilof River. Hope you all enjoy. That was a that was a marathon trying to get that one there. But praise the Lord, we did get it. Beck is getting the hook out for me. It's always so exciting out here, y'all. That's a big old hefty one there, boys and girls. 
That's a good sockeye Sammy. Look at the look on the nose of him. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Look Have to get down there. That's a big fish. For bit. questions, comments, and or to book James at With Him Outdoors, you can send an email to withhimoutdoors at gmail.com. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and like and share these videos with as many people as you can. Thank <laughs> you.